Hey everybody, it's Joe. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video on how to tension the belts, so the, the Y belts, so both on one each side, and then the X, uh, the X axis belt. So um, to do that, I'll start with the, the X axis. Um, so we'll go ahead and this is the, this is the left or the right hand side here of the laser. Um, and remove the cover on the end cap, like this end cap cover here. Um, there's two, there's two Phillips screws on each side, one here and one here. Um, and we'll go ahead and remove those and remove this cover. So here's a close up of these two screws. So on this side, you have one here and you have one here. And then now remove this end, end cap. So let's go ahead and uh, unscrew those and take off that end cap. So once you have that end cap off, you'll have three uh, screws here. And the one that you want to uh, adjust is this screw here. It's a 2.5 millimeter screw. And this is what's going to tension, it, tension the belt up. But before we do that, we have to loosen one more bolt underneath. Looking underneath the frame, you could see this um, one more one more screw underneath here uh, that the belt wraps around that has the idler on there, that gear. Um, so you wanna loosen that up and then you, you can turn the screw uh, on the side and tighten up the belt. With the screw on the back loosened up, you'll want to go ahead and either um, do uh, clockwise to tighten the belt or counterclockwise to loosen the belt um, depending on how what the tension is like you want to get it where you can with a little pressure you can squeeze both of like make the belts touch each other so the top and bottom you can kind of push them in and touch them um, without a lot of force. Um, and you don't want them super loose either. So once you have that, you know, where, it's, where it feels good, um, you go ahead and uh, tighten the screw on the back again. It's a, it's a M4 screw on the back. With it all tightened up, so you could see with little force, you know, I can, touch the belts together um, and that's kind of that's what you want you don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight it could cause issues um, and like I said this is the sc screw here once you get it um, the the screw that's on the side it's almost like a set think of it like a set screw um, once that's worth that you tighten this one down and then that locks the belt so that takes care of the, the x-axis with everything how it should be um, with the belt tightened um, we'll just go ahead and replace the cover and uh, tighten the back of the, the Phillips screws access should be good to go okay so now since the x-axis is um, we have that you know the tension on that good uh, we'll go ahead and flip this over and work on the y-axis so when we first were putting this together um, there's that little hook uh, portion of the side frame that uh, the idler some way sits in. So, and we put the set screw, inserted the set screw in the back and then tightened the, um, the M4 screw up. So it's pretty straightforward. This is a lot easier than, than the X axis because um, on this, it has a, a marking on the side of where 
you should tighten or where you should set the um, like that idler nut, the nut that holds the idler assembly in. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. So here you can see that little hook portion um, of the side the side rail. You see there's a kind of a picture of a, a nut right here and then a center line through through that nut. And you want to line that center line up with the center of this screw, like this nut here. So in order to do, to do that, you'll loosen this screw up here. And then there's that smaller set screw that we installed here on the side and you'll want to turn this clockwise to tighten the belt and counterclockwise to loosen the belt. Um, and likewise, you know, you want to be able to press this with little force to get them to touch each other. And once that is good, then you stop turning, you know, this set screw here. Because as you can see, that set screw it pushes against that nut right there. Um, and then you'll want to retighten this uh, this screw here. And you'll do that on uh, both sides. So hopefully, um, you know, the information in this video has helped you out, um, showed you a little bit on how to, to tension these the belts, uh, X and Y axis. Um, if it did, you know, leave a comment down below. I'd like, love to hear that, you know, this video actually helps somebody out. Um, you know, give me some feedback. This is kind of a new thing for me, uh, making these videos. Um, I love working on these, these type of machines and, um, you know, always looking to share what I, what I learned. So, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe also, cause I'll be doing some more, um, Kind of tutorials on how to troubleshoot things here and then um, also on how to set uh, you know, set light burn up for for getting this thing up and running so anyway uh appreciate it um look forward to talking to you all again soon thanks